What's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to put together this mechanical sculpture, the exploding circle. And it's called that because the circle explodes. So this is a very satisfying piece with a very satisfying outcome, but it's a tricky print because the tolerances required are pretty tight. So get your printer dialed, I got faith in you. Get printing and we can put this thing together. I'm Jay, this is JBV Creative, let's create. Once you have all of your parts printed, start with one of these gears with the hex coming out of it and put it in with this orientation with the dots oriented towards the center of the circle. Now repeat with the other three hex gears. Make sure all the dots are facing the center of the circle. Now grab one of your circle segments and a circle link, place it onto the post on the circle segment. Now it's important to get this gear oriented in the right direction and you'll notice the two dots on the circle segment align with the two teeth of the gear and there's only one way to put these gears on so make sure it's in this orientation. Now put the small gear on with the circle in the middle and then seat clamp that into place. And then you wanna give it some spins to make sure everything is moving well together. So you wanna be able to flick it and have it go all the way around like this. Once you are satisfied with how it's moving, orient the circle segment like this and align it with this hole. And you know you have it lined up right when the two dots on the middle posts line up with the two teeth on the middle gear vertically. Now grab one of the other 20 tooth gears with the hex in the middle and make sure that the dots align to the dots on the first hex that we put in. C-clamp it into place and then move it around just to make sure that everything is moving well. Grab your big gear ring and put it in place just like this. Make sure that the flange is sticking up and then grab your retaining ring and place that over the holes and then push it down. Try to give it some rotations from the side like this. If you're having trouble spinning anything, throw a little WD-40 and that should help a lot. Repeat these steps with the other three circle segments and remember that alignment is incredibly important here. If we don't get it aligned now, then it won't work later. So just take a little bit of extra time to make sure that all the dots are lined up before you put them into place. On these ones, put the gear in first, then pop it in. And then once you have it all lined up, throw a C-clamp in there to hold it into place. Give it a few spins to make sure that it's all working together before you move on to the next segment. And then just repeat the steps for the next one. Give it a few more spins, make sure this is working before you do the last segment. And once it's working, pop the last one in. Give that some spins as well. If you're having trouble or finding it sticky, throw WD-40 literally everywhere and that will really get things loosened up and spinning way better. Grab your stand and this small gear with the shaft coming out of it. You have to make sure that it's meshed with the outer ring gear before you slide the stand onto the two pins. Once you have it in place, throw some C-clamps. And you can see that the gear sits just like this. Grab your base and pop the stand into the base. You might need to press a little bit hard to get it in there, but it will go. And once it's in, you can throw these three pins into place to make sure everything is secure. Throw some C-clamps onto the back of those pins. You can move on. Throw a couple of C-clamps onto the outer ring. You don't wanna do them all, just in case we have to make adjustments later. We'll get the rest at the end. Grab the bevel gear with the little flange coming off of it. That goes onto the end of the shaft with the little gear. C-clamp that into place. And then give it some spins to make sure that everything's moving together. The more spins you give it, the better it's gonna start rotating. You just need to give it a chance for all the gears to run together. Remember, WD-40 helps a lot here. This might be a good step to just douse it. Get in between the gears, get in the shafts, get it into the outer ring, and then keep spinning it and get the WD-40 to work its way into all of the joints. Next, grab this piece and with the flange facing towards the bevel gear, pop that into the base. Grab the other piece like this. That will pop into the base in this orientation. Now you can grab your long shaft gear, slide that in, Grab the other bevel gear, place that into its position, and then slide the shaft right in and C-clamp that into place. Another opportunity to give it some spins. Once you're satisfied how everything's moving, 
Throw the knob into the end of the crank, C-clamp down into place, and then that goes into this hole, C-clamp down into place, and then you can finish by throwing the rest of your C-clamps onto the pins on the outer ring. And boom, just like that, you have yourself your very own exploding circle of sculpture. Now it's gonna take some more spins and a little bit more WD-40 to make sure everything is working together, but stay with it and you'll have a great working sculpture. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate you guys following along. I hope you had as much fun creating as I did. If you're interested in staying up to date on what's coming in the future, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.